Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. <clears throat> Bit of a challenge. Uh, see how we go with it. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here is a Ferrero Rocher packet. So it's like a chocolate, if I'm correct. One of those round chocolates, sort of like a sphere, spherical shape. And it's a Ferrero Rocher. <coughs> Real rich people's chocolate treat, you could say. With a name like Ferrero, it sounds almost like Ferrari, like a fucking uh, sports car, rich person's car. So, you know, it's Ferrero sounds very, very rich. I do think maybe I can bend that out a bit. I think we can uh, move that away, uh, make that Ferrero Rocher thing show up more. But basically, yeah, you, you could say it's a rich person's chocolate treat, although they're often given as gifts to people. Yeah, I've had them given. I've had one. I remember getting getting a packet of three Ferrero Rocher chocolates when I worked for Xerox back in the days when I was an aspiring young uh, technician, uh, trainee technician. I never got very far, unfortunately, because of my disability. Uh, but I tried my best and tried to make have a go at it. And unfortunately, I had to uh, concede that I couldn't uh, do my job as well as I would have liked. I would have liked to have been a technician. I would have loved to have been successful at what I did. In, but I have to accept the limitations that I've got and I've got to focus on what I can do and what I can do is making these these uh, photocopier demos uh, and doing making art with the photocopier rather than being a uh, technician uh, however much the technician would have been a good uh, thing to go with the art to make the photocopier more versatile I could modify Potentially, I could modify the equipment with my technical knowledge and make it into an even more versatile equipment. And that was one of the intentions I had being a technician was to be able to mod machinery and make it more versatile. But I never got to that stage, however much I really longed to do that as a job and you know but I do look forward to the day when they have technology and and medicine that'll help fix the brain damage I had at birth a cord around my neck and a breech equals uh, oxygen starvation and that's come up looking really quite nice so I had a cord around my neck and I came out breech and that was really really bad and it really made it made yeah I could have died it's a wonder I wasn't dead but I survived and yeah it still has to this day I still haven't been diagnosed with that I have other disability another disability that forms the the uh, diagnosis as to why I'm disabled but it's only part of the tip of the iceberg and it carries with it a certain st stigma and I can't talk about it in my videos because the stigma is very uh, strong. And I, I, I can't allow myself to be stigmatised. But it, it wasn't, it's probably not the main disability 
I also believe I have Asperger's syndrome, which is responsible for the drive that I have to make this photocopier art. And the reason why I wanted to become a technician to work with photocopiers because I'm really passionate about photocopiers and I really wish I could just jump in fully and just do it. I want to design photocopiers, folks. I want to redesign the photocopier. Once I have the brain, brain damage addressed, I do believe the sky's the limit and I am determined that I want to redesign the photocopier because I see a lot of problems that they have and there's a lot of improvements that can be made that the current status quo with the love of money can't address. So, and they won't. So, yeah, got to make a difference, folks. And you got to be good to the planet and good to the human race, as well as turning, more importantly, more important than turning over a profit. People and environment before profit, folks. Enough of that. That's come up looking a real treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.